welcome to Un Café Avec in this intimate and independent EU debate. After two weeks of intense negotiations, nearly 200 nations adopted a legally binding agreement on climate change. The aim is to keep global warming well below the threshold of 2 degrees with an aspiration of 1.5 degrees. This historic, durable and ambitious agreement, as it is called, proves that cooperation works for the planet. All you need to know about the results of COP21 negotiations is in this video. To discuss about this, Anna Kaisa Etkonen, the European Commission spokesperson for climate action and energy, and Liz Krajanest, policy advisor on climate change at Oxfam EU. All parties uh, who left uh, Le Bourget on Saturday can be quite satisfied that there is a deal for the European Union. We are quite satisfied and relieved and happy that there is a deal and we are also um, satisfied that most of our key asks were included in the treaty. 94% of emissions are covered. This is really historic and the end, is, um, the end of fossil fuel area is really on the wall here with, with Paris. However, um, we do have concerns that uh, Though we have a historic acceptance of a 1.5 degree uh, goal in the agreement, the pathway to get there is uh, just not clear enough. There is something to European diplomacy. Of course, uh, France, uh, the French presidency doing a fantastic job and uh, the EU um, uh, playing key role behind the scenes. It was not something that we set up, that we came up with in, in Paris, the High Ambition Coalition. I mean, it was really something that uh, required years of work. I think one of the key messages we, um, we take away coming out from Paris is that um, the, the real litmus test of this agreement will be in to what extent will vulnerable communities and, and the poorest countries end up benefiting from this agreement. <laughs> If we want to keep the goal of 1.5 degrees in reach, the 2015 review is absolutely key. Um, we, there is a limited carbon budget, so how the, the, the stronger and the quicker we act to reduce our emissions now, the higher the likelihood we stay below 1.5 degrees. There's, there's no single piece of paper, however many countries have signed it, to save the world. I mean, it really now, I mean, I, I think we only now need to start the work. We now have guidelines that need to be revisited, but uh, I wouldn't say that the world's quite safe yet. Thank you for watching this debate and see you next time at Un Café Avec.